Let's look at a situation now that tends to confuse quite a few people, even if they've been playing baseball for a while. And that is what happens when a runner runs out of the baseline. He's running out of the baseline. And I think a lot of the confusion over this rule uh, comes in the, the way that it's presented to us. So when we say the baseline, what you would naturally uh, think about is this line from one base to the next, a straight line. And, and that's generally correct when we say, or that's generally what we're referring to when we say the baseline. But for the purposes of this rule, for, it's talking about a runner being called out, uh, that is not the baseline that we are referring to. So let's take a look here at the, the exact wording of the rule. And so this is that a batter is out, or, or the, the runner is out, when he, he runs more than three feet away from his baseline to avoid being tagged. So he runs three, three feet away from his baseline to avoid being tagged. And so if the fielder is, uh, if, he, if the runner crosses paths with the fielder who's attempting to make a play on another uh, runner or at another base, then he's, he's allowed to run out of the base. But, but the, this rule really comes into play whenever the fielder's attempting to make a play on him and they're kind of standing right by, side by side. So the, the key word in this rule, I think, is right here, and that is his baseline and that's a little bit different than the general baseline so so the rule goes on to clarify this what does what does his baseline mean and so it explains that a runner's baseline is established when the tag attempt occurs and it is a straight line from the runner to the base he is attempting to reach so a runner's baseline is established when the tag attempt occurs or, or takes place and, and, and then it says that the baseline let's use a better color than that baseline uh, is a straight line from the runner to the base he is attempting to reach. So obviously here this is not a straight line from base to base it's actually a straight line from the runner to the base so that's what we mean when we say his baseline. So, so what we're talking about here is, is not that we have a straight line here and then he can go three feet on either side that is not uh, the baseline for for this rule basically what this rule is it completely depends where the, the runner is standing so if the runner is standing here then we would draw a straight line from him to the base and then he would have say three feet uh, on either side of that so he can go from here to here and that that's assuming that the the fielder who has the ball attempts to tag him in this spot here so really the the runner he can kind of like fielders can move anywhere they want to um, the the a runner he can also stand anywhere he wants to so if I'm a, a base runner I could take a lead off first base I could stand the whole way back here if I wanted to the only thing that would generally prevent base runners from doing that is that if the uh, he's obviously lengthening the distance between himself and a base, so so that'd probably be a, a silly place to to start your lead off because then you would probably get picked off. But but technically the 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 batter or the runner he would not be out. 
in this situation automatically because if the the say the pitcher attempted to to pick him off here and we had a second baseman here who got the ball and he he was here attempting to tag him out this runner is obviously he's already outside this baseline right because he would have the three feet here and here so for this we're saying that the baseline is from the runner to the base and that he would have three feet on either side of of that and so that's really what this this the confusion of this rule uh, uh, that's where it comes into play is because we're talking about the runner's baseline his baseline and the the straight line from the runner to the base and not from a base to a base